Mnemonic video on different levels of amputation from ortho. So I have got an x-ray picture showing different tarsal and metatarsal bones. So let's first understand the anatomy of the foot so that it becomes easier when you learn the different levels of amputation. Firstly comes the thin bone that is fibula and then comes tibia. So at the level of uh, distal end of tibia and fibula you have uh, medial malleolus and uh, lateral malleolus right. So this constitutes medial malleolus and here this area with constitutes lateral malleolus. Coming to the tarsal bones, the biggest one that is the calcaneum lies here and right in front of calcaneum is another C that is cuboid bone. And then here is the talus bone. Then comes the next one that is navicular bone and here are three small bones called as cuneiforms which are medial, intermediate and lateral cuneiform bones. So all these together constitutes the tarsal bones guys. And then comes the five bones here which are called as metatarsal bones. So I think this uh, is clear about the foot anatomy. Okay. Now let us understand different names of amputations. First comes both S's. That means Sarmentio and Syme. So Sarment Sarmiento and Syme are for distal end of tibia and fibula. So both are proximal to the ankle joint amputations and both medial and lateral malleolus are excised in these kinds of uh, amputations, Sarmiento and Symes, both SS. Then comes Pirogov. Pirogov has RO in it. So it is for, it is related to something calcaneal rotation. Okay. So what you do is you do a vertical split in calcaneum in this kind of amputation and you rotate calcaneum forward and fuse it with tibia. So that's what you do in Pirogov's amputation. Coming to Boyd's amputation, it is also same. You move calcaneum forward and fuse it with tibia. That is uh, orthodesis with tibia. But here one more extra thing is you excess tal talus also. That is talectomy. So for Boyd, it is both. It is related to both the bones. One is talus and other is calcaneum. Whereas Pirogov is rotate the calcaneum forward is the keyword. Coming to Chopat and Lisfranc's, remember like Chopat is a small name whereas Lisfranc is large name, right? See, Chopat is Chota and Lisfranc is large. So, Chota meaning small bones, intertarsal bones, whereas Lisfranc is long or large, that is tarsal metatarsal because metatarsal are the lengthier bones, right? So, that metatarsals are lengthier bones. So, Lisfranc lengthier name is for tarsal metatarsal junction, whereas Chopat is for intertarsal. Now let us mark the levels of amputation. So see here both these comes like Sarmiento and Symes come here. Sarmiento is a little pro more proximal that is 1.6 centimeters whereas Symes is just 6, 0.6 centimeters like both SS are done. Now coming to Pirogov and Boyd both are related to some calcaneum moving forward and uh, fusing it with tibia right. So both Pirogov and Boyd's come in this zone. Whereas Chopat is intertarsal, that is between the tarsal bones. Whereas Lisfranc's is here. This is the end of tarsal bones and this is the beginning of metatarsal. So Lisfranc comes here between tarsal and metatarsal bones. And this is Chopat which is intertarsal. So this is what you need to know in amputation guys. It's actually an easy topic. When you understand the anatomy of foot properly, you can easily learn these terms. Sami and Tosaim go together, Pirogov and Boyd, Boyd for both talus and calcaneum and Chopat is Chota that is between the tarsal bones whereas Lisfranc is long that is tarso metatarsal. This completes the topic of different levels of amputation and the questions that are asked from this topic. So they ask you a name and you have to find out at which level it is done. And we also have many such videos from different subject guys. You, you can check in the description below. The playlists are mentioned and our telegram groups link is also mentioned. You can join there and get the updates and different kinds of MCQs, PYQs and high yield topics. And if you like this content, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you.